Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views. Today is November 26, 2014. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to start off with the usual S&P 500. You're going to see that the futures are trading basically flat this morning, right around the uh, 2067 level. We're not going to make too much out of it. Today is expected to be a light volume trading day. Uh, generally, most traders will leave the office after the first couple of hours. Volume should be on the on the light side by the closing bell so it's been a light week already we probably will expect more of the same I would expect similar action to yesterday uh, unless uh, some major geopolitical event does erupt but either way uh, today should be a light volume trading day but there are lots of stocks in the news there's some money to be made out here this morning let's get right into the charts we'll start off with Hewlett Packard they reported earnings yesterday I'm not a hundred percent sure what the earnings said I don't really care about that too much but nonetheless they did come out with earnings uh, yesterday I think the earnings may have been in line but you could read all about that on your own right now the stock is trading at 37 and a quarter that's basically a little lower than where it closed yesterday closed at thirty seven dollars and sixty three cents so all in all when you look at this equity um, it's basically right where it finished yesterday so we're not gonna make too much out of it but the one thing I will say is that this is a stock that could be in play once the opening bell rings so you want to keep it on the radar come on over to us take a seven day free trial we'll be watching at uh, several levels to see if the stock does trickle down um, one level right off the bat that I'm seeing is around the 65 uh, the thirty six dollar and fifty nine cent level thirty six fifty nine there will be a little bit of minor support there um, some big levels that I like would be around the thirty three sixty level if the stock really sold off which I don't expect uh, to happen today but nonetheless it the stock will be in play let's take a look at analog devices this here chip maker um, very very good move stock closed at fifty one seventy one it's now trading at fifty three ninety four I'm gonna give it another dollar worth of upside should be a wall of resistance though at fifty five so if you own this equity you trail your stop loss if you do not own it I would not look to be doing a lot with it at this stage of the game I would leave it alone but it can get up to the 55 level that's what my math is telling me and that's where the stock should stall out and hit resistance for all of you video recording lovers let's take a look at TiVo TiVo is trading at twelve dollars and seventy cents they came out with earnings stock closed at twelve ninety this is kind of in a range high end of the range is around thirteen forty the low end of the range is around 1207, 1206. So again, the stock will chop around in there. There might be some intraday plays uh, once the opening bell rings. But again, TiVo is not a big mover at the moment. But what is a big mover is CTRP, which is C Trip. <clears throat> stock is trading at 5170. Closed yesterday at 5846. So that's a pretty good sell off in C Trip. I think I'm going to have gap levels for this one posted up in the chat room right at 9 o'clock. So if you want those gap levels, come on over, take a seven day free trial to the chat room, intraday stock chat. You'll see what we're going to do there. You'll get our levels for C Trip right around 9 a.m. Let's take a look at SDRL. This stock reported earnings as well, C Drill. Stock is getting hammered this morning, closed at $20.71, now trading at $18.51. I will have gap levels for this one also posted, but this is definitely a weak stock today. So come on over to the chat room, find out my levels there, and uh, you'll be able to trade that one. Another one we're going to look at today in the chat room is Deer. Deer and Company, you know, the farm equipment maker. Stock is getting hammered this morning, closed at 87.79, now trading at 85.35. I will have levels for this one also posted up at 9 a.m. So come on over to the intraday stock chat. We'll have those levels there for you. Let's take a look at Taser. Looks like Taser uh, struck a deal with somebody. Um, again, the stock right now is trading at 21.55. It closed at 20.59. Stock is already overbought. I'm seeing a lot of resistance at 21.80 to 22 dollars. So don't look for much more upside in Taser today. Uh, stock is definitely under some pressure. Let's take a look at VNET. This is a Chinese. Um, this is a Chinese stock. VNET right now trading at 1780. It closed at 2076. Uh, I was looking at this one earlier. Little tough to find levels, but one thing I am looking at is the $15 area. Keep that on the radar. There will be some short-term minor support down there. There was a big double bottom as well going back on this stock to uh, September 10th 
at around $14. So uh, 15 and 14 respectively will be two short-term levels. But uh, be a little bit careful with this one. This is on the can be on the thinner side at times, so it can overshoot levels, and it's a little trickier. Uh, let's take a look at Hertz. Looks like Call Icon has up to stake in Hertz Rent a Car. I really don't see any more upside in the equity right now. So uh, forgive me, Carl, but I'm not, not seeing uh, a lot of upside in Hertz at this point in time. I think that uh, 25 is a big resistance. You also have a ton of resistance at 26.60. So if the stock gets up to 26.60, um, could be a pullback level uh, intraday on that one. So be a little bit careful with that going forward. Uh, but that I'm just not seeing a whole lot of upside uh, in this equity. Um, there is some news on Herbalife. Looks like uh, Herbalife CEO bought a 750,000 shares exercise in options. So Herbalife CEO buying some stock there. Stock right now is trading at 42. It's had a good run recently, and it looks actually looks like it's trying to put in a little bit of a low. So just something to take note of. Um, we'll see how that one plays out going forward. Uh, I think we do have a couple of more gap plays on board today in the intraday stock chat. So again, come on over to the chat room, take a seven-day free trial. You'll see everything that we're doing here. Gold is flat today. Oil is down 75 cents to $73.40 a barrel. Oil is getting hammered again. So if you're looking at the USO, you're going to see this trading at $27.86. To be honest, there's nothing I would do here. Let this fall. Oil is not showing any relative strength. The momentum is to the downside now. That break of 74 is very, very important for crude. And we are trading below it for the second straight day. So be careful with oil. I'm not saying it's going to plunge, but um, it's definitely not showing a lot of strength here at these levels. So be a little bit on the guarded side. Uh, definitely it's a little weak to begin the session. I think I covered everything that I wanted to get through today. There are a lot of other stocks in motion today, so there could be some plays out here a little bit more. But again, remember, volume is going to drop off after the first couple of hours. That's normally what happens on a holiday uh, week. Tomorrow, the market in the United States is closed for the Thanksgiving holiday. And then on Friday, we do have a half-day trading session in the morning. So with that said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.